Good day viewers, Walter here in the basement today making a video for your consideration. Most of my viewers know I've been working down here and straightening up my shop a little bit. I got a little bit done last night and I'll show you a couple of things. Uh, how many of you have bought something and then lost it? I do that all the time. A year or two ago I bought a bench a carpenter's vise. Not that bench vise you see over there, but a carpenter's vise that clamps on the front of your workbench. And I never used it. It's in this basement somewhere, and I want to install it on that workbench over there. I gotta find that darn thing. Only thing I can think of, it's either in that file cabinet over there. Two of the bottom drawers I can't get open. That means I'll have to move that little piece of workbench to look in there. So first we're going to look under this workbench here. That's where I hide everything. You just open that door. You got something you don't know what to do with you. Throw it up in there. So half the stuff in that cabinet down there I'm going to, have to probably throw out when I go through it. And I'm hoping I'll find my vice in there. But let's zoom in over here for a minute. I run the wires, the extension cords, so I can put my foot pedal. You can see it down there under the bench. So I got my foot pedal rigged to my coping saw. Took all them wires down. I had hanging from the ceiling and rerouted everything. Did to put a permanent wall fixture over there, but right now we're working with extension cords. You can see. So what I've done, I've got my vacuum cleaner ran to a switch there on the, the extension cord on top of the workbench. I would have rather had it under the workbench, but the cord coming from the vacuum cleaner ain't long enough. But that's okay. It's, uh, it's easier to reach the switch up there anyway. I'll give you a demonstration of how my system works. So when I want to saw something, I just push the foot down. Vacuum something. Right now, we're going to root around in this workbench to see if I can find my vise. I think what I really need to do is move that file cabinet out of the corner where I can get access to all four drawers. I won't be doing that today. I think most of them stuff in the bottom two drawers is just a bunch of paperwork anyway but I'm going to look in there to see but anyway like I said you ever buy something and can't find it I rooted around quite a bit last night trying to find that advice I'll show it to you if I ever find it but I'm coming right along with my little workbench area down here I'm going to get involved with my P wall part sign pretty soon got my workbench all set up there ready to go to work Let's just take a peek at the mess under that workbench. 
That workbench there I made when I built this house. When you build a house, you have all kinds of scrap lumber left over. And I had piles of it out here. And it's just simply made out of leftover wood I had laying here. Never has been nothing fancy. Never was intended to be. But it works pretty good. All right, where are you at, guys? Well, I'm gonna have to get a chair and sit down here and just go through everything. They don't tell them what I'm gonna find up under this workbench. Here's a couple of things right off the bat for the railroad corner. A couple of old style three position retainer valves. Took these off a pin central box car years ago. I'm going to put them right over here so I won't forget about them. I'll stop the video here and come back after I see what kind of goodies I can find. I posted what kind of goodies I can find under this workbench. Finding nothing but cans of bolts and screws and boxes of sorted parts. <clears throat> There's a softball. Anybody want to play ball? I did find the box that vice came in. Here's a picture of it. But the box is full of screws. What did I do with the vice? I'm getting old and forgetful. I might not never find it, but... I wonder what's in this box. Plumbing parts, toilet parts, tile. Plastic wood. Uh, that plastic wood probably dried up a long time ago. Six months from now, I'll need some plastic wood and say hmm, a wood putty I mean I don't know I saw it somewhere where was it I know I know what's in this box doorknob parts bottom shelf. don't think it's going to do me any good. It sure ain't on the top shelf. It's going to wind up in that darn file cabinet over there. Or it could be out in the garage. I just don't know what I did with it. We're just going to take a quick look. I'm not pulling all this stuff out today. This is what you call hoarding. I hoard parts. I don't know why I'm saving scratched up safety glasses. They might could be cleaned. Copper fittings. I occasionally do get around to doing a little plumbing now and then. I plumb this entire house with copper pipes. This is just an empty container. I should have threw it out, but it's got a little pump on it. I was going to see if I could use it, put oil in or something, but I just wound up here when I'm done to eat. I'm pretty sure my vice ain't up under here. So 
So we're gonna slam that door back. 100 foot of coaxial cable, 75 ohms. Must have bought that back in my CB days. Probably $330, $40 away buying that crap. Someday, some of the kids will go through this junk and sell it all at a garage sale. Here's a neat little something I used years ago with my CB. It's a 12 volt regulated power supply. My lights broke off of it. It might be, it might not work anymore. But I'm sure it would be repairable. I think there's some CB radios up under there somewhere. Get up and hide your trash, Walter. Uh-oh, that feels like what I'm looking for. Hot dang, we're in business now. Won't have to look anymore. Now we just got to figure out how this thing works. That'll make an interesting project in itself. Install a net booger bear. I know what we must do. Let's go upstairs and look it up on YouTube. Somewhere, somebody on YouTube has installed one of these darn things. Not an expensive place, it's just a little something I bought over at one of the building supply places. I don't know if that other piece goes inside or outside the wood. But that ought to come in handy dandy. Maybe after a while I'll get energetic and do some scrolling. It says line and use. Here's something I pulled out a while ago. I guess it's sort of like a bracing bit, but it works off of one handle, one handle instead of a crank. Needs a little oil and that is very old. Somewhere on there is probably a brand name. I think that came out of my father-in-law's collection. Let's put this on what's on the table today. Make a video of that one time. What is it? A bracing bit? I don't kind of adjustments. Just need to learn how to work it. Okay, let's go watch some YouTube videos on how to do my bench bars. Thanks for tuning in.